What is snorting Percocet like? What happens when you snort Percocet? This is what it's like when you snort Percocet. I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. I share from experiences of everything that I've been through. Now, Percocet, oxycodone, these weren't my drug of choice, but unfortunately, because of how my addiction was, I love to put things up my nose. And this is what happens when you actually snort Percocet. And if you are struggling out there, this is not to glamorize any kind of drug. Links are down below for anyone struggling for NA and AA. Reach out and get some help because this is an addiction like no other. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. What's up guys, my name is Eric and I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. I've been sober since 725-17 of cocaine. I did relapse on alcohol back in, uh, what was that, 11, 11 13, 2020. Um, I've been sober now again for a while, went back through the steps and the programs, uh, only relapsed one night, but a relapse is still a relapse. And the drug that I'm the most afraid of though is cocaine. That was my worst addiction of all. I had this fascination with putting things out my nose and hydrocodone, um, when it came to Percocets, when it came to Oxycontins, I was prescribed Oxycontins. And unfortunately, when you are an addict and you put things up your nose, you're always going to try stuff up your nose. So can you snore Percocet to begin with? Yes, you can, it's water soluble. And what that means is if you put it in a coffee filter, it's gonna go right through that coffee filter. It's gonna dissolve into the water. It is a water soluble drug. So if you snort it, it does give you a different effect. Xanax, for example, isn't water soluble, but anytime that you snort a drug, it hits your system a lot quicker. So I have taken oxycotons uh, or oxycodone for a surgery that I ended up having and when I ended up taking it, I didn't like the feeling that it gave me. It wasn't really my drug of choice. It really mellowed me out. But you get me with some cocaine in my system, and I was snorting everything and anything up my nose. Uh, I have snorted Oxycontins before. It was not a good experience. <laughs> because what happens is this thing, it hits your system extremely quick. It hits your system within a couple minutes. Where typically if you take a pill, it's designed to dissolve in your stomach. So when you snort it, it absorbs into your system so much faster. And instead of a gradual upswing, if you've ever taken a medication or a pill, I take Adderall because I'm ADHD and this is my drug that helps me function. When I take Adderall, I can feel the gradual slope of it starting to kick into my system. I can feel my brain start to wrap around life and I can feel my thoughts start to get organized. When you take a pain med, you can feel the pain slowly start to go away until next thing you realize the pain's not there. Well, when you snort it, it's instant. It all of a sudden hits you out of nowhere. And when I snorted Oxycontin, it knocked me out almost. It put me to the ground. Like, I didn't want to move. I it, it ruined my whole night because I was a heavy drinker. I was a heavy cocaine addict. And it ruined the whole night because I didn't want to drink. I literally didn't really want to do anything. I still drank. But my drinking, I would just start slamming beer after beer after beer, shot after shot after shot. I was drinking two to three fifths of vodka a day. So for me not to really want to drink, there was something definitely wrong. And it was hard because it was a mental battle in my head. My whole body went very just blah. It went like a warm blanket over you. You're very lethargic. There, there was no excitement in me when I, it came to Norco's that gave me energy. This opiate did not give me energy whatsoever. So my brain, though, is still functioning right, wanting to drink, wanting to be that addict, wanting to do cocaine. But my body was like a, a, a struggle that I could feel. It, I didn't really, I was, as bad as I wanted to get messed up and as bad as I wanted to get drunk, I didn't want to get drunk. It was like my body was fighting my mind nonstop. It wasn't a feeling like I had expected. I was originally doing it because, well, hey, I have this pill here. Let me crush it up and see what happens. It wasn't the way that it was supposed to go. I thought it would energize me. I thought it would wake me up. I had done some cocaine already and I could just feel this whole internal struggle in my body. And that's what ends up happening is like, you can feel the fluctuations different in your, your heartbeat. You can feel your heart rate actually off. That fluttering that you feel, your heart rate isn't beating correctly. You can feel it not being functional. Your whole body is tickling, but yet you're numb. And yet you're slowed down. Yet you just, your body just feels no pain. And just like with uh, some of the other drugs out there, you get away like touching your skin and like the sensory feelings are amazing and, and that's one of the stimulations and draws to them. When it came to Percocet uh, Oxycontins, this, well, this was not a feeling, that was not something I wanted to do. I wanted to just sit there and kind of ball up into a ball, take my hoodie, put it over my, my head, squeeze it shut because I didn't want to see any light. Brain kept going, dude, but you want to drink, you know, it's nighttime, this is your party time. My body became very systematic on how I used to abuse alcohol. 
and my body is telling my brain no. And so it's like, I'm just getting irritated with myself, just sitting in this ball in the corner and still drinking a beer. Just no energy whatsoever, where with cocaine, when I, man, as soon as I did cocaine, amped me up and excited me. And it also hit me so quickly out of the blue that it wasn't something that I expected. It literally just felt like I ran a couple miles and I'm just, my body's like numb. My body's limp, life is numb. No pain, but numb. Like when you got done just exhausting yourself and you felt good, but your brain still wants to keep going. I mean, it was a hard, just internal struggle. I never did it again except for one night. I have snorted other drugs before, and they all do hit you differently. Pretty much you can snort every drug out there, water soluble or not, mainly because even if it's not water soluble, it, some of it, it gets into your stomach, it's crushed up thinner, you dissolve it faster, hits your system a little bit differently. But water soluble drugs actually absorb into your system a lot differently, so it hits you a lot harder. So it really takes you to just a hundred to zero really quick. And it is a very highly addictive drug. And if you are out there struggling with addiction, I get it, man. I've been there before. I know what it's like each day to wake up and you're literally living to get high. And if you are struggling, the first step, man, ask for help. Just tell everybody you're an addict. They already know you're an addict. Just say, hey, everybody, I'm an addict. I need help. And you'd be surprised with who in your life has been waiting for that moment is going to help jump in and get you the help, whether it's rehab, whether it's going to NA, whether it's getting a sponsor, whether it's a box and whatever it might be, getting with the doctor, tapering. There's so many different ways and it's just about not giving up because man, that addiction dominates our life and that's all we live for. And I can tell you this, I wouldn't take my worst day sober. I would not trade that for my best day high because I'm not destroying my life. These are drugs that can destroy your life. They are legal drugs though, um, that are with a prescription because they are designed for pain and that's what they're meant to be used for. But we as addicts, let's face it, we abuse this stuff. So if you're struggling out there and you're abusing it, ask for help. I cannot stress it enough because I get it. I get it, man. I get the pain you're going through. I get that struggle that you're going through. And I know that the withdrawals from opiates is very difficult because of how it bonds to your brain receptors the hot cold flashes, the night sweats, not sleeping, constipation, just just putting enemas up your butt, trying to just pound down Miralax, trying to pound down Midol, anything you can, the restless legs, I get it. But you know what, it's worth it. When you sober up, you get a beautiful life. I'd love to hear your comments, comment down below. I'd love to hear your experiences with this. I'd love to hear your struggles with it because it's about not feeling alone. And when we're an addict, we're in a dark place and let's face it, we feel pretty freaking alone. So comment down below, hit that like and subscribe button. I love to just share from my experiences. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist, I'm none of that. I'm just, I'm diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, MDD, level one autism. If you haven't noticed, I loop my words a little bit. I'm a recovering cocaine alcoholic addict. I lost my wife and father to suicide. And I just don't want anyone to feel alone. So just remember, you're not alone and you got this.